Hello. So today I have part one of a fan sales order and it is going to be three stamped cross stitch kits. <laughs> So I placed an order with Fan Cells. I have three diamond painting kits and three cross stitch kits. Um, actually, no, I think that is four diamond painting kits. Yep, four diamond painting kits and three cross stitch kits. Today I'm going to be reviewing the three cross stitch kits and as you can see, um, the thread is not here for this one, and that is because I did already start this. Someone offered to pay me for it once it is completed, so I just kind of already took that out and got to work on it. As you can see, it does come with your toolkit, your five needles, adjustable thimble ring, and a needle threader. And this bag has a cute little fishy on it. Let me show you the picture. This is the photo. As you can see, it is just kind of like a red and blue dragon. I thought this was very cool. I typically don't go for styles like this, but something about it really drew me in and I was honestly really excited to start this, especially knowing that I will be getting paid for my time. This kit on the website costs $9.36 and I will be linking all of these products down below as well as giving you a discount code from me to you. So it's just super cool. I really do like this one. And you'll probably notice a theme with the kits I have and show you today. You can see right here it is 40 by 70 centimeters, which is 148 stitches by 278. And it is by the Warm Prompt one. And you can see right here that it does give you your instructions if you're new to cross stitch. Again, if you don't understand this, I highly suggest that you do go look up tutorials on YouTube because there are tons of them out there for us. So I'm just gonna fold it here so I can conveniently hold it closer without hitting anything on my desk. All right, we have 34 colors and these patterns by this manufacturer are, are always, wow, was that, did that, I don't even think that came out right. <laughs> these printed patterns from this manufacturer are always clean and pristine. I have yet to see one even slightly messy and you can see that here and it is decently sized very crisp and easy to read. And now that I showed you that, um, there is a little thumbnail up here as well, just in case you have trouble understanding what the chart is for. All right, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna show it to you upside down just so the pattern side faces you. So you can tell it's a dragon for sure. There's lots of color blocking in here. You can see his mouth and just a bunch of color blocking. There is a little tiny bit of confetti, but from what I can tell, pretty much every stitch in here, you can track along to at least two or three other of the same color. So it's not like you're stitching individual stitches in places which is good, but I feel like that confetti is much needed, especially in the dragon itself, given that he has more detail than the background or the stuff around him, I should say. And this is on the tear-proof paper. Oop. To be fair, I did grab it where there was a, a little tear already, wow. Okay, well, <laughs> leave it to me to find the one way to rip the tear-proof paper. Let me show you up here instead. See, if there's no cuts or anything, it doesn't just tear on its own. But you can very clearly see right here, there's like a slight overlap 
that's that's where I ended up tearing it. That is my fault. <laughs> uh, okay, well, so much for me trying to prove my point. I'm actually going to move that out of the way. This isn't a super large one, which is perfect and makes me just that much more motivated to work on it. The paper pattern does wa watch. The paper pattern does match the fabric. So there's no confusion there. You can see down here is what I've gotten done so far. I think that was color number 12 was the darker one and 30 is this lighter one here. And you can see I have more 30 up here to do and I'm so organized today. And then it trails up here. And you can really see how clear all of these symbols are on the fabric as well. They are absolutely perfect. They are in their own square. I just think it's so cool and I love the colors on it. And the serging does not go through the DMC codes whatsoever. They did this beautifully. So this canvas is stiff, but not super, super stiff. It's very easy to fold and it is surged all the way around as you can tell because, you know, me mentioning that it's not going through the DMC codes. As expected from this manufacturer, these do come on floss drops and it did come with a rubber band. It's just a bunch of different blues and reds and pinks as you could tell from the image. So they really do give you the correct color palette here. And I always, always check to make sure lately before I start a kit that all those DMCs can be found in here so I know I have all the colors I need. Here's the back side. And there's some whites. I really like this color right here. The purple, I'm not totally sure where it's gonna come into play. I'm sure it's probably just gonna be around the face and stuff where the blue and red are really close together. Kind of like a transitional color. But you can see there's like so many shades of blues, pinks, and reds. And it's just gorgeous. I thought it was gonna be so beautiful and I really do enjoy these colors. And now what I'm doing while I work on this. Since I've only used two colors, I only have two on here, but I bought these rings from the dollar store. Some of them are really hard to open, some of them are not. They just kind of click together. And what I do is I cut the little cloud thing off and then hook it. You can see this one's kind of faded. I could easily go over that with a pen, but I'm deciding not to. And I do put them in order from lowest number to highest. That way I can search and find them more easily. And I've been doing this for all of my kits that I've started that come on the floss drops. And I just thought it was so beautiful and I'm really excited. I will post pictures in my community tab as I go on this. And because I am getting paid to do this one, I likely will be working on it more than my other kits for a while, just because um, I do craft stuff for a living and get paid to do so. And you know, if I can cross stitch and get paid to do it for the first time ever, I am gonna do it. And that's my first kit. Let me show you the picture one more time. That is the first kit, absolutely beautiful. It's like a statement picture to me. Yep, so that was kit one. Here's where you see my theme for what I've been wanting to purchase. Um, this is my second kit, also kind of a generic kit. This one comes with like a ram or sheep, mountain goat, whatever you want to call it. And it, okay, yep, and it has the pom-pom to hold your needles, your adjustable thimble ring, and your needle threader. So this one definitely is from an older manufacturer, if you can see that already. Instructions come on the side for this one. Let 
There's no large photo for this that I have, so I will put it on screen over this one. And let me just scroll up real quick so I can see the price. This one costs eleven twenty-two, but I paid ten sixty-six because I used my discount code. And this one's just beautiful, kind of the same colors with like the blues and reds, but instead it's a beautiful, um, she's not a geisha, I don't think, but she is dressed beautifully and she has fish all around her. And if you've seen my kits before, you know I am absolutely obsessed with fish. Just something about them. All right, before I open this up, this one has 40 colors and you can already see the smearing and it comes from right here. It was folded like this but there was no thumbnail I could see so I refolded it to be like this just so I could see that when I store it in case I wanted to find it. Again, tearproof paper. Look, see, if there's no cut, it doesn't rip. Sorry, the first time I did this, it was such a bad example. This one is 50, oops, come on, 50 by 90 centimeters. And this one and the previous one are both 11 count. Here is the paper pattern. Let me scoot you. So this is the paper pattern. I believe it's right side up. Yep. So you can kind of see her parasol back here, and her face, some of the fish. Sorry about the paper noises. Just more fish swimming around her. And a lot of this is blurry. I will try and email them to get the, um, what you call it, the PDF for it, where this one is so messy. And I do like having intact patterns. And that's really all you have to do if you ever get like a messy, smudgy canvas or paper pattern. You just have to email them. They will ask to see the code that comes on the bag. So this code right here is what comes on the bag. And that's what this kit came in so you will likely just have to send them a picture of that in an email and a picture of how your patterns messed up and be like hey this pattern wasn't so great could you email me a pdf copy so yeah very fuzzy here so we're not going to use this to determine how good stitches are but Usually these days when you find a paper pattern that is smudged like that, it's a telltale sign that this is an older kit. At least to me it's a telltale sign. Could be wrong. They could be currently printing these new and they look like this, but I think it's an old kit. And I say that because this is the older type of canvas I believe they used to print it on. It is surged though has your 50 by 90 on it, a little thumbnail, and of course your 40 colors, and the surging just barely kisses the edge of the DMC down here. But other than that, it looks like it's avoiding it. So here is the canvas. Pretty big. So it's definitely taller than the dragon but that is okay. I'm gonna fold this in half so we can look at the symbols up close. No, fold it in fourths. It is easy to read. And that leads me to think that the paper pattern being smudged won't be too much of an issue. Looks like there's three different green, four different, five different green symbols up here, or teal, turquoise, whatever you want to call that color. Because the dot, the circle, the V, I mean, I guess that's green. And then the half a square. And then the light blue. You're just going to have to pay attention and do this in good lighting. But you can still definitely read it all. They're just very similar. Um... Okay, 
So my only issue here is um, some of the X's sometimes to me will look kind of like the V's. So just, again, be careful, use good lighting. Lots of color blocking in this. It looks like there will only be minor confetti. Oh, yep, this is the top. But really next to no confetti. Let me check in here. Yeah, I'm not seeing a whole lot of confetti. This is gonna be a very straightforward stitch. And I was going to start this one until someone asked if they could pay me to do the dragon. So this baby's just going to have to wait a little bit, and that's, that's okay. I don't have to start everything as soon as I get it. I try not to start new things. The only reason I started the dragon, again, is someone's paying me, so don't come at me for preaching how I always want to finish a kit before I start a kit, and how few I actually have in progress and then starting one, because oops. Quite a few colors in here. Wow, quite a few setups too. And, oh, hold on, I'm just trying to grab some of these so they don't fall out because some of them are unraveling. Looks like we have five Hanks. 760. Two of 310. 154 and this very bright color 600. I think this is one of my favorite colors to do in diamond painting because I have it on my giant flower one and then I think these might also be six oh 601. So for some reason these come in these little tiny ones and we have three six seven. And that's okay, I have tons of kits where it literally all comes in this and none of it's on a card. So that's okay. Oh, I guess I was wrong. Not five, six, seven, eight, nine. It comes in nine hanks. Wow, okay. Three, seven, zero, five. Three, seven, zero, five. Ooh, bright, bright orange here. 749. And then this cute color right here, which I think I'm currently using this color in one of my biggest cross stitches, one of the 14 count ones. And this is 3848. Eight. That's a lot. All right, there is so many colors in here. Give me one second. I'm just gonna double check that this floss goes with the kit. And it does indeed. This is just more colorful than I thought it would be. So let's go through colors 1 through 18. This kit really does just have a whole rainbow in it. And actually this is the color that I'm using on my giant 14 count geisha. It's a beautiful color, but I'm using it from the little setups here because my Geisha woman came in all of these, but it was custom, so I really don't care. And 19 through 36. So many cute colors. Oh, I almost wish I started this one no matter what because there's so many cute colors in it. I'm really feeling like the pinky purples and blues. And then 37 through 41. All right, hold on, let me pick this up. All the colors together. So many beautiful colors, very bright. This one's going to be fun to do. There's no way you can get bored working on something with so many colors in it. And as you saw, it did come on cards and not the drops because, again, I believe this is an older kit. So many bright colors. Oh my goodness. I really want to start this one now. Oh, but I have so much to do. I still have the second half of a sweater to make and I've been uh, bulk making crochet hats 
which if you don't mind, I'd love to show you like shameless self promo. So this is the hat. It's this cute um, granny square bucket hat that I designed with yellow bears on it with embroidered eyes and mouths and such. And the only reason I'm not listing these on my shop yet is because I have some yellow mini bows on the way. And I'm gonna put those up here like a bow here in every corner and then a bow on every side just to kind of line it so it doesn't look so plain up here. And I'm also currently working on making one that has yellow in the background and white and it's gonna be a blue fluffy bunny. So you can pick a yellow bear hat or a blue bunny hat. And they're all gonna have the bows on the top and I just thought this was so cute. And these are adult sizes. I have not tried making a smaller size yet but I'm sure I could because granny squares are fairly simple to shrink. And I did find a method to make it so the bears aren't so thick. I can actually separate this fuzzy yarn, so I'm gonna do that for the next hat I do. But this was my prototype, minus the bows, and I, it's just so cute. I don't know if I wanna make a pattern for it, but if I do, it will be for free and on my other YouTube. But yeah, that's my quick, shameless self-promo for my newest hat design. Alrighty, my last kit is a Joy Sunday. It is 14 count and it is 42 by 45. And I'm going to tell you right now that this is no longer available. I did buy the last one. It was on sale and it only costs $3.86. I'm sure this is just old inventory they were trying to get rid of. And you'll see how I know this is old inventory on top of the fact that it was on sale. But real quick, it's called Night Fishes Play with Lotus. Of course, I got it because there were fish and it was on sale. <laughs> because we all know me and my fish. Instructions on the back of Joy Sunday. Not watertight, do be careful. But the top is resealable. All right. This is another kit I want to start pretty soon. Or would be really excited to start. It looks like there's only 30. Why am I saying three? Looks like there's 30 in full stitch and then one in half stitch which is going to be all of this background up here and real quick let me show you why I was so shocked. Okay so this is the picture and I know I'm gonna go a little out of order here but you'll survive. So this is the picture right like Sea foam greens and oranges and muted reds. These are the flosses. That's the floss color. Right. So this, you know Joy Sunday's like a brighter blue. So I think what happened was the printer was either low on ink or the color was not correct. Like the saturation was messed up. But this is the picture we have. And then this is the picture on the paper pattern. Oh my goodness, because their picture on the website looks more similar to this. Kind of icky, right? But it actually looks like this, and that is so beautiful. I took a gamble. I didn't even know this was Joy Sunday. It was not labeled as Joy Sunday. It was labeled as 14 count partial. So I thought this was maybe some off-brand 14 count that they were trying to get rid of. And I was like, sure, why not? It's fish. It's only $3.86. Grabbed it. It showed up. It's bigger than I thought it would be. And it was a joy Sunday. My gamble paid off. I am, I am so happy. I love the colors that it actually is. And I love that I barely paid anything for it. All right, let's get into it. Here is the book. This is page two. This one's page one. Page two. Page four, five. And right here, oh look, they hid some backstitch in there. And then there's the page separation. So, oh my gosh, that's a lot of backstitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen backstitch colors. And six, seven, super beautiful. All the lily pads and flowers. And page eight. 
super stinking cute. All right, here's the canvas coming up. It is a little messy. It looks like they had to stop surging and restart up there instead of in the corner, but that's okay. It's not gonna affect the quality. The legend is nice and large, so it will be easy to read, but you do gotta be careful. There are a lot of similar colors. This is an older Joy Sunday kit, and I am showing it sideways just so it fits on my desk, but look how big it is. But it's so pretty, and all of this orange is half stitch, so I'm not really even sure I have to be concerned about that because there's not a whole lot. But everything is super clear, easy to see. Let me fold it up, show you the symbols up close. Sorry about that, that's my Etsy. Everything's just really so clear and because everything behind them is backstitch, it's really just a non-issue on figuring out what goes where. Lots of blocking lots of it. Here's colors 1 through 15. Sixteen through thirty. And then on the second card, we have more of 31, and this is on a half card. And then we have like this little snippet of a card where we have even more of 31, which is the background color, and more of number 17. And of course, our two needles are stapled to the floss card. So it this was a happy accident purchase in terms of me thinking it would be completely co different colors and then opening it to find all of these gorgeous bright neons. I was not expecting that. And I'm genuinely so sorry that it is not for sale anymore if you did like this, but it is gorgeous. But that just goes to show why you should check out their, their clearance section more often because they do surprise you. A lot of my favorite kits came from the clearance section. They just pop up there out of nowhere. You get them cheaper and you can find just really nice kits that you wouldn't find in general. Well, those were my three new kits that I got from Fan Cells. I will link the two that are still available for you. At least I think they're both still available. Uh, I will link what is available. If you don't see the link, it's probably not up there anymore for sale. Well, thank you guys so much for checking out what I got. Come back for the diamond paintings if you're interested in those. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Would you be happy if you got a kit with much brighter floss than you were anticipating? And don't forget to check out the description box. I will leave a discount code for multiple shops, including fan cells. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.